This is the DSI with the 0000FE00 error and it appears to be a software problem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it switched on during the day while I'm out and I'm going to see if when it runs out of battery it resets itself so that's going to stop there I'm going out to work we'll see what's like when we come back okay so I've came in from work and that is now that is a dodo so I'm going to take the battery out and I'm going to let any residual charge drain from the motherboard and we'll leave that for a bit and then we'll charge it back up and we'll see if it comes on right well that's had enough time to discharge everything I'm not holding my breath but I'm going to put this back together Actually, I could probably just put in a different battery in, couldn't I? I could use the battery out of that one. That'll save us charging this battery back up. That's a good idea, Philip. Right. Like I say, I don't think it's going to do anything different, but when it runs out of battery apparently it writes to the memory or the flash memory or something no still the same i still get zero 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 f a zero zero which apparently is it can't read the nand chip so what i'm tempted to do is see if i can reflow this NAND chip so I could heat up this NAND chip from underneath and see if I can get it to reflow so can I just get my hot air under here and just warm that chip up see if we can go at the reflow perhaps I'm assuming that's the NAND chip yeah so you've got the CPU under here with some fast cycle RAM and this is the 256 meg NAND chip so this is total experimentation now because I don't think I can get this board working. But I'm just wondering if the board's flexed somehow and broke the solder balls. Well, it moved perhaps a little bit too much hopefully it'll be okay so we'll let that cool down and we'll see what magic's happened right let's see what damage I've done and to get this bad boy on you just pull it out of there like that Right, one of these is charged up and one isn't. Your guess is as good as mine. Try this one. It's not that one. It's this one. Right, I've reflowed the NAND. And now it doesn't turn on at all. Excellent. Could be that little power connector because it wasn't plugged in properly. So we'll try it again. It could be any battery now. No. 
No, still exactly the same. I don't know if that's a good thing because now this is on red. What does that mean? What does red mean? Oh, now it's on blue. Must be the battery. So reflowing the NAND didn't fix the problem, but I also didn't make it worse. That I know of. Just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to take this SD card out of here. And I'm going to pop it in here and see what. See if it does anything different. I'm going to probably switch that off first. No, still the same. Still the same. Never mind. Right, so. What's... What could I possibly do? Next. I wonder if there's a problem around the... The little components around here. I wonder if I can compare them to this other board. I'll do that. So this is the error occurred board. R94 is 57 ohms. R54 is 41 kilo ohms this little capacitor C50 that's strange how come that's dropping the other one went up oh, I'm in the mega ohm territory now they are all over the shop try them in capacitance 200 microfarads C51 204 205 microfarads Right, have we got, any, have we got anything different on this one? Do. Totally different. These aren't reading anything. Are they shorted, I wonder? Uh, put my red probe on ground. No, 0.327. That must be ground. That one's been three three zero. Seven and a half M farads, is that milli? Eight and a half milli farads? Seven point seven MF three point five MF Resistor fifty four thirty three point six kilo ohms and the other one and the other this one was fifty seven ohms on the other board and that's 57 ohms yeah so these two capacitors are reading something totally different 
to what's on this board. I think I'm going to take them off and swap them over from board to board, see what happens. Right, these are off the error occurred board. If I try to measure these, they're going to ping all over. There you go. Five point four microfarads. No, I kind of got a good connection. Right, so this is the zero zero faulty board. And I've just pulled these caps off and they fell apart. So these caps that I've got here are from the error occurred board. And they're the only two I've got. So I'd best not lose them. That looks like a good one. And that's about all I can do. To my knowledge at the moment. I don't even know if those caps connect to the NAND, but they're in the same vicinity. Right, that's back together with two caps on. Two new caps on. Oh, it's not back together, I've got to put this on. Right, that's back together now. Right, let's see what damage I've done this time. <laughs> Still exactly the same. Look at that. Brilliant. At least the charging circuit still works, but I've still got the same error message up top there. So that hasn't done a damn thing. So at the moment, I've got two spare boards for spares. Because neither of them are working. And now I'm missing a couple of cups off this one. So I think they're going to have to go into the spare box. So that's it. I'm washing my hands of these two boards. Um, if I put this into a video and I load it onto YouTube, I hope you enjoy it. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.